Hello, I'd like to show how the senior non-credit students in Concordia University can search for classes, select them and register those same classes. My name is Eddie, I'm a volunteer with the seniors non-credit programme. Uh, let's make a start. Well, though we can start at any web page at all, using any browser at all, I've chosen to start from the Concordia homepage, which you'll see up on top is concordia.ca. Now, uh, from here, I'd like for us to go to the address, which will get us straight to the the start of the business in hand campus.concordia.ca let's just magnify that because it's sort of important campus.concordia.ca good okay enough said there so we go to enter this address and we'll be asked first of all to sign in signing in with the username and password will get us to this page which is the student center my student center it's slow oh, I've got it there okay so this is um, a web page that's customized for every student in the university your name will appear before the word student center up on top and just like to look over this page very briefly there's the courses that are presently being taken these are courses at the end of the winter term that's coming to a finish i'll point out the enrollment course cart which we'll come back to uh, towards the end of our session and right on the bottom you'll see we're often asked how to make a payment for the courses uh, we'll simply scroll down, click on this blue button and follow the prompts. Let's come back up on top in order to do a search of classes. You press this uh, button here and we're going to be asked to enter a few parameters starting with the term. Term, select the term, click the down arrow and I'm selecting the summer term as you'll see. Uh, further now the course career always always we select undergraduate don't be tempted for continuing education can't do those courses. Um, I'm going to leave the select subject blank for the present course number blank but I'm going to put a check mark in the 200 level courses which are the easiest ones to register for because they don't have prerequisites um, and underneath I'm going to look at all the departments and faculties so we'll select click in the down arrow so that we can see all of the four faculties starting with the Faculty of Fine Arts further down we get to the uh, School of Engineering, Gina Coding School of Engineering, it's now called, uh, and further down we get to the School of Business, John Molson School of Business, and the faculty that we're most uh, interested in is the Faculty of Fine Arts. Most of our students choose courses uh, from the departments in this faculty. Now here's the departments, all listed in uh, alphabetic order starting from applied human sciences up on top biology chemistry etc you'd be well to scroll down this list and select a department that is most of interest to you I'm going to select English because I know that there's uh, a number of courses being offered by the English department you notice the English the word English has been entered there scrolling right down on the bottom to do a search click that red button to perform a search and we will get a number of uh, classes in this list right up on top I might point out these three icons the green check mark is uh, pricing these are open courses 
the ones that are filled up has the have the red cross icon, a bit like traffic lights. Uh, the last uh, icon is the waitlisted icon, orange, I might say there. Uh, okay, so let's uh, if we scroll down these courses and we'll see a number of these icons, red and green and so on. I'm going to stop at this short fiction course, 235, and uh, let's open this up a little bit so that we can uh, see uh, this more clearly. Uh, on the right side of this course you'll see a select class button. I'm not going to click that for the present, I'm going to click the link that's in the column mark section. I'm going to click this link to get some more information that, about this particular course. Uh, I'm going to scroll down, uh, here's the course description, days and times and so on, but it's the statistics that I uh, particularly want to point out to you. This class has got a capacity of 53 and there's an enrollment total of 48. Well if we take 48 from 53, uh, of course we get 5 available seats having done that arithmetic. Uh, now uh, let's look at the waitlist capacity. Waitlist capacity is 5 and the waitlist has a total of five people on it. In other words, this waitlist is completely filled. So the question which is often put to us, we volunteers, is why don't these uh, people in the waiting list, this five, these five people, why don't they, why aren't they offered the seats that are available, exactly five. The answer to this question is that many departments, this one here also, uh, reserve some seats for their own students. If their students don't claim these seats by the beginning, the first day of the term to come, they're freed up and will be offered to the waiting list. And if the people on the waiting list are offered these courses, then they will receive an email from Concordia saying that they are entered in this course. Okay, so if that's not uh, very promising at all, let's get back to our search results. Not going to select that course, but uh, I'm coming down skimming over a number of these courses until I get to the one and this is the English 262 British Literature from 1660 to 1900. Um, this is, uh, there's a green check mark here, looks promising and uh, let's, um, as, as before, go to the, the section column and click the link underneath it. Uh, as before, there's some interesting statistics. Let's pause to look at the days and times, Mondays and Wednesdays, you see, where the room, where it's going to be held and the instructor name, and it's going from the 3rd of July until the 10th of August. This is a second term in the summer. It happens I've got a course already. I'm registered for a first term course. I didn't want there to be any interference between the two. Okay, so let's look at the statistics, which is more encouraging, I think, this time because there's 54 people capacity as the maximum, and there's uh, 30 people enrolled so far. Doing the arithmetic again, 30 from 54 gives us a total of 24 available seats. Well, that's much more encouraging than before. Even though the wait list is still five, you'll see, but there's, of course, nobody on it. Zero. 
Okay, so let's scroll still now further and you get a description of the course. Uh, quite, uh, what is it, five or six lines of description which is sort of interesting so you know what you're going to be doing if you turn up for this uh, course. Uh, and underneath there's a prerequisite. Normally this is not good um, because with prerequisites you normally have to go to the department ask special permission to take the course. But this prerequisite you'll notice is recommended. Not required but recommended. So we shouldn't have a problem here. Okay so this looks good. Okay on the bottom the two buttons and the select class button is now in red. Remember we had blue buttons before. Okay so I'm going to click here and when I select this class it goes into the course card. You'll see up on top add to the course card for this particular term. Uh, the summer term that we uh, have um, uh, expressed interest in. Uh, coming down here you notice that now I'm going to put a check mark in to wait list if class is full. It speaks for itself because if we uh, add this course to the card way before the, the course starts when it comes to the senior non-credit first registration date might find this course has become full in which case we will be put on the waiting list. So would heartily recommend you do that. And scrolling down to the bottom to go to the next page and uh, good. Okay so this it says here this class has been added to your course card. Okay so we've done two jobs so far. We've uh, searched for a class we've selected a class which means that we're ready to do the third step which is to enroll in the class. I'm going to come right back to the top to go back to the student centre. Remember I pointed out the course cart, enrollment course cart. I'm going to click on this blue button and I should be asked which course cart am I interested in. I'm going to click the summer as before and continue and we'll see the course card containing a fair number of classes. It's a good idea to choose uh, a number of classes in case you don't uh, get success with your most favoured class you can go down to your second most favoured class. Okay, so the one at the top is filled, the classics class you'll notice, but all the other classes look good, green check marks. There's a political science class on the bottom, but let's see, this is the course which we were just looking at. Okay, the one which I've just added to the course card. And let me draw your attention to the three buttons on the bottom. The delete button, pretty well speaks for itself. The check mark course would be deleted. Validate, which means um, you are ensured that two classes don't overlap in days and times. And the third one, which I'm going to click now, is the enroll button. So this should enroll us if we're lucky in the check marked course. So enrolling and now we're asked to confirm the class. Uh, okay so uh, there is all the details, um, the title, the days and where it's taking place. Good idea to write these down so you know when to turn up and where to turn up and so we can then finish enrolling and with any luck good yes it is lucky because we've success success enrolled it says this class has been added to your schedule good okay so well that's the end of our trip and I hope this uh, will be of um, 
use to you in your registration in the coming year and for that I give you my very best wishes. Bye bye.